Gary, how about at Veterans Affairs? You talked about a lot of stuff as containerization. If I'm head of software development in three years, what's at VA, what's that going to look like for me uh, as you've sort of rolled out this capability? Yeah, well, I really appreciate what uh, Matt just said. I mean, I think it is all about um, understanding the risks inherent within the systems to the finite level that needs to be understood at the particular tier that needs to understand it. Um, I'd say the predominant focus for the, for the department, just like many other departments, is encapsulating the vision that is outlined within the executive order 14028, um, which is really in implementing that ZTA, the multi-factor, the cloud, and ensuring that you have this holistic um, uh, capability uh, to understand risk, get that visibility that you need, ensure that cybersecurity has that seat at the table so that it's part of that decision-making process and the relevant leadership at the right levels are making those particular critical decisions they need to make. And that's all based on understanding your endpoints, you know, uh, uh, integrating the data, uh, protecting that data, ensuring that it has integrity. You know, the whole common set of things that uh, we, we normally just take for granted, but it really has to be part of this integrated effort that looks holistically and comprehensively at what we need to fundamentally achieve. And I think the EO is, is driving us towards that. Luckily at the department, we've got the secretaries directly engaged in, in cybersecurity, as well as all the various tiers. And that has helped us immensely in, in ensuring that cybersecurity has that driving force behind it so that we can do what we need to do from that perspective. No 